County Manager report. No report for this particular meeting. Okay, we'll move right on then to our citizens wishing to be heard, agenda item nine. Folks, let me lay a little bit of, of um, ground rules, as most of you that have been here in the past understands the ground rules. Of course, we allow 15 minutes to any particular subject matter. Each individual can speak for five minutes, and of course, the total uh, will be to that 15 minutes. We currently have seven, eight, nine individuals, actually eight individuals. One was turned in past the deadline, and, and we can't listen, can't hear that one. But we'll go as far as the 15 minutes will allow us, and we'll take them as in the order that we that we receive. And the first one with Mr. Dwayne Roark. Mr. Roark, if you please come forward again, state your full name and your address, please. Dwayne Roark, 3780 Newsom Road, Valdosta, Georgia. Allowance County resident for 47 years. First of all, I want to thank the uh, Board of Commissioners uh, for finally getting me on YouTube. Uh, uh, last time I spoke in here, they, of course they filmed it, I finally made it on YouTube, so I want to thank you for that. Um, always wanted to be on it, but I wanted, wanted to kind of open the, the floor tonight with a little bit of laughter. Um, I, I do want to thank y'all for allowing me to come up here and speak. Uh, I do love each and every one of y'all, and, and I love what y'all do for Lowndes County. And I know that y'all have Lowndes Countyans uh, in your best interest at all times. Uh, today uh, was just coming back. Uh, I just got back from a trip with my company. I'm a small business owner as well. I'm a direct jobber with Amsoil Synthetic Motor Oils and Lubricants. We had an ATV race up in uh, Danville, Virginia. I canceled some of my plans. I lost some money come down here to be here tonight. Uh, and I just want y'all to listen to my idea that I have on how we can resolve this. As I was traveling today, I picked up a few newspapers, and these newspapers have absolutely nothing to do with this, uh, with this, uh, the reason that we're here tonight. I may stumble around, but I'll be okay. Uh, I was actually in North Charleston, South Carolina today, and I picked up a newspaper and it said, what if this has nothing to do with deep south sanitation, it has nothing to do with what's going on in Lowndes County, but I, I thought to myself, what if, what if we only had one hardware store in town? What if we only had one gas station in town? What if we only had one retail store where you could buy a pair of pants in town? Our prices that we pay would be through the roof. We would not have a choice. As I traveled along a little further, actually this one was earlier, the Fayetteville Observer, picked up a newspaper. This was Sunday's newspaper. Uh, Operation Tarnished Badge. Years later, tarnish remains. A corruption investigation that sent the sheriff and 21 others to prison still cast a shadow over the law enforcement in Roberson County. If we put Deep South Sanitation out of business, it's going to give Lowndes County a black eye. People are going to say, I don't want to go to Lowndes County and open a small business because I'm afraid they might tell me I can't operate anymore, then what am I going to do? And some black eyes you can get rid of, some you can't. For instance, here I found a, a poster, Ludowissi, Georgia. Everybody's heard of Ludowissi. Speed trap capital of the world. It's titled Lester Goes to Ludowissi. Beware, you are in Long County and approaching Ludowissi, Georgia. Don't get placed in a clip joint. Don't get caught in a speed trap. Signed, Lester Maddox, Governor. <laughs> I can just see one one day as you come into Lowndes County, and it's going to read Beware, you are in Lowndes County and approaching Valdosta, Georgia. Don't get fleeced in a garbage contract. Don't get caught in a business monopoly. I can't say enough good things about deep south sanitation. And that's not what this is all about. It's not about advanced. It's not about deep south sanitation. It's about a small business owner who did what he needed to do to be able to do business in Lowndes County. He got him up. A nice truck named Maggie 
I found out tonight why Harry named his truck Mag. It's named after a Mag. I said, we have to call it Mag, so we're going to name it Mag. So, let me tell you something. My dad, he couldn't be here tonight. He wanted to be here. But every Friday morning, my daddy's over there drinking coffee at the window. And he's waiting for Sadie Scarborough's daddy to come by there and pick up the garbage can. This, this is a family-owned business. The money that, that my daddy pays to them stays in Lowndes County. And, you know, I, I just, uh, regardless of what y'all's decision is, I'm still going to love each and every one of y'all. I may not like you, but I'm going to love you. <laughs> now, my mama always told me, son, you are to love your fellow man, but you don't have to like what they do. I'm out of time. A few other things that I want to mention, too. Um, they have Chris Prime. Sheriff Chris Prime is one of their customers. Now, if what... Mr. These Rohr, South I'm sorry, but you are out of time. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yes, sir.